Hey guys, it's Zach. I am on spring break, which is why the production quality here is low. I'm working off my laptop, so I don't have a lot of uh, my main editing software or anything. I use Premiere for anyone who's wondering. Um, it's not on this computer. So, I wanted to talk real quickly about um, the difference in evacuation normal buildings versus high-rise buildings. So this is going to be a pretty quick thing. Um, so, in high-rise buildings, you don't evacuate the entire building at once. Instead, what you would do is um, often you do two floors above the alarming floor, the alarming floor, and then one floor below the alarming floor. All those four floors would be the ones to be evacuated. Um, and, and that can vary a little bit from one state to another, or one uh, city to another even. Um, but that's a pretty standard way of doing it, mostly because fire often goes up first, which is why you do two floors above, and then one floor below. Now what's interesting about this is most often you don't actually evacuate the entire floors, rather you relocate those people down to another location. Where in a regular building uh, that's only a few stories tall, um, you would only, you, you would evacuate everyone and everyone would just go outside and wait. Um, for larger buildings in a city, you don't have the time to evacuate an entire building. Um, when it comes to doing that, it takes way too long to get everyone down the stairs. Uh, my lovely girlfriend Katie was kind enough to provide me with this video uh, in the midst of a fire drill going on in her building where in this situation they would be showing what would happen if there was an alarm on the sixth floor. She happens to be located on the fifth, which is why she was being uh, sent down to the fourth floor to wait for the all clear to come through. So go ahead and watch this clip. Go to the fourth floor and remain there until further notice. Attention, attention, attention. This is a fire drill. Please proceed to the nearest stairwell. Go to the fourth floor and remain there until further notice. And guys, that's really it. It's a short video. Um, hoping that it's a little different and interesting. And um, if you have more questions about high-rise buildings, let me know in the comments below. Um, we're going to have a home system test coming out later this week, so go ahead and check that out. Like, subscribe, leave comments for questions, that kind of stuff. And um, sorry about the low production quality, but I will see you guys in the next video.